in this video uh, we will talk about autodoc result analysis after docking with autodoc we will have this file uh, with dot dlg extension so let's start analysis of the results open autodoc tools Okay, from analyze, docking, and open. Open this file with dot dlg extension. Okay, this will load our ligands. From analyze, confirmations, and load. You will have their binding energies, all these modes. If you click, this is a detailed explanation of uh, energies associated with that ligand. Okay, from analyze macromolecules and open. Open this file, the protein file. Here is our protein. We can change the color of ligand. Okay. From color by chain, press OK and take a better look. From select, direct select, select the macromolecule. From compute, molecular surface. And compute molecular surface. Okay. From analyze, docking, and show interactions. This will show the interaction of ligand with the residues. Now delete them. We will analyze these results in Pymol and Discovery Studio. So from analyze, dockings, open this result file, go to file, save and write PDB. Close this. Now open the protein file. From file, open and open this ligand file. Here is our ligand. Now we will save this ligand and protein complex. File, export molecule. Save and ligand protein complex dot PDB. Okay, save this. Okay, we have our ligand and protein complex. 
so uh, we will analyze them by using Pymol and Discovery Studio. Before moving on, if you are new on channel, please subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon and stay connected for more learning. We will open them, we will analyze them first in Pymol. Here we have our protein and uh, ligand. So from action, preset, ligand site, and select cartoon. Okay. This will show the interaction of our ligand and protein residue. Okay, you can also check whether these residues are in uh, the binding residues of the protein. So click on this. And this one. Now go to the sequence and this will show you the selected residues. We can also measure the bond length for this from wizard select measurement. Select this and this one. This will show you the bond length. Then again, select this and this one. Okay. In this fashion, you can calculate the bond length of all these interactions. Go to S tab and show surface. Okay. You can also analyze your results in Discovery Studio. So open Discovery Studio. From file, open, open this complex. Click this ligand interactions. This will show the interaction of the ligand with the protein residues as you can see. Now you can label these interacting residues. For this, right click, labels and add. From object, select the residues. From attributes, select three letter and ID. This will show the three letter code of the residue and its number. You can also change its font and its size. Click on apply. Okay. You can examine the residues with their IDs and their interaction with the ligand. Okay. Under this ligand interactions, Select this show type. This will show the bond types. The conventional means hydrogen bonds. Now select show distance. 
this will show the bond length of the residue atom and ligand atom you can also examine the receptor surface if you click on this H bond this will show the receptor pocket and uh, these colors indicates hydrogen bond donor or acceptor like this one it is hydrogen bond donor and this area it is hydrogen bond acceptor in this fashion you can also analyze all these aromatic or charges or ionizability etc okay you can also examine these interactions in 2d for this select this show 2d diagram this will uh, show the interaction of uh, ligand and the protein residues in two dimensions these are hydrogen bonds these are donor bonds which are unfavorable and this one is pi sigma bond thank you for watching stay connected for more learning